Nothing like this on stage, screen, radio, TV, or cable, baby. This is an exclusive. Okay, y'all, welcome to Whole Body Training. So, on Wednesday, I was at home. So I did the um I did a catastatics routine and I did it in the park. And I consider the squat portions part of my squat every day. Then on Wednesday, Wednesday night after my basketball game, my left foot swelled up at the top right here. I had like a nice little puffy ball. And I was icing it and icing it and icing it. And then so then yesterday, Thursday, I decided not to do the hit, jumping rope, all the squats. So now today, Friday, I got a basketball game. I thought I had two, but it's actually one. So um, I'm not gonna do the squats. So I'm gonna just do um, a different version of hit. So I'm gonna do 30 seconds plank, 30 second iso hold at the top, not a 30 second hang. So be basically working the whole time. And then also, um, I, I think that my foot swelled up because um, when I had the bar at the bottom, when I was doing my split squats, it was a lot of pressure here and here. Like my shin is sore. My shin is sore on this side, because I was doing more, I was doing the left, I was doing single leg squats with my left leg more. And then when I and then when I did do my right leg, all that all the weight was on top of here. So that's swollen. So you know, I wanna I'd rather play basketball than re than re aggravate that. All right, so we 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. I think I'm gonna make it harder and hold it at the bottom, y'all. So we're gonna hold it at the bottom. Then I'm holding the plank at the top, we're gonna hold it at the bottom. Halfway there. Only six rounds, y'all. Now we're going at the top. We're going to pull to the top and hold. It's tough, I'm already sweating. Halfway there. I think I'm recover from those 500 reps from Wednesday. I'm feeling it. Round three. Halfway there.
Round four, yeah. Can't even pull myself all the way to the top. Feels like everything's tearing, yeah. Oh. All right. The timer's gonna stop after these thirty seconds because the rest period don't count. So I'm just going to go up and do a max hold at the top after these 30 seconds here. Halfway there. We on round six, yeah. Well All right, now I'm going to hold for a max hold. It'll be 30 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever it is. Here we go. We're closing out round six, yeah? <sighs> oh, that's why I wish I had the timer. I'm cooked. Would have been easier to just jump rope. All right, yeah. I think tomorrow, depending how it goes, I'm going to resume the squats because we're already more than halfway through. We took a break, but we technically didn't rest the legs at all because yesterday, yesterday was really the only time I took a break because I didn't do anything. I just did a little bit of light stretching. And uh, when I was doing the dips, it was hurting my back and, and my shoulder, but I still did it. I used the bands on the dips and the push-ups because uh, even though I approved on the shorties, that's not what I wanted to do yesterday. So, because, you know, I figured I could do 15 full-range push-ups, 12 full-range dips, and then, like, by round six... I was doing I was doing the shorties, you know, and I didn't want to do it like that, so I used the band. So you know, if you're a person that's a beginner and you can't do push-ups at all, you could tie you could tie a band to something above you, have it hanging high, but it could give you a lot of assistance. Because if it's all the way at the bottom, it's not gonna help. It's not gonna give you that much assistance. So you hang it up high. Your body weight's gonna stretch it down. And you'll be able to even do clapping push-ups. Even though you can't even do one push-up on your own, you should be able to do at least a clapping push-up, depending on how, how much resistance. All right? So, we got a nice pump. All right? I'm chasing the pump, yeah? I'm not looking for size. I'm still dying in. I'm still 
whole body, baby. All right, yeah. Peace.